Hey guys, um, welcome back to another edition of Pro Hire Truck TV and today we're, we're going to look at uh, another stalwart of the electric car market which is one of our own vehicles again which is a Tesla X and some time ago um, we looked at uh, the S uh, long range and this is the ludicrous model on the X which is a game changer when it comes into speed and, and power and actually finish because this car is actually much better finished off than, than, the, than the other models. I guess the, the challenge for, for a lot of, of people who are reviewing electric vehicles is they'll, they'll take an electric vehicle and have it for a, for a fortnight or so and, and they'll tell you all how wonderful it is and how amazing the world actually is. The vehicles that we're talking about here we've had on, on fleet now for, for, for quite some time and some of the vehicles are 14, 15, um, even 18 months and we use them every day um, and I think that gives us a, a real understanding of, of how we can get the best and the worst out of these vehicles and over the next few minutes we'll be able to give you a feel for that you know if you like what we do I'd love you to subscribe and, 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 and of course keep watching the content and over the past few months we're getting more and more inbound in to do different types of things for you so please keep that coming in and we'd love to do as much as we can to try and support you in this in this journey from from ice vehicles into the alternative fuel world let's have a look at the vehicle this car is insane you know it, we, we talk about cars having the ability to just throw you back in the seat and end up like a, a ride in perhaps Alton Towers or a theme park for those who, who don't know um, Alton Towers. It is the fastest car that I've ever been in. You know, the, the, they say on the on, on the blurb that this car is capable of doing 0 to 60 in 2.7 seconds. To be honest with you, I'm not arguing with that at all. I mean, this car is is, is really, really, really quick. It's in ludicrous mode at the moment, and that challenges the 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 power you know and you know people are talking about um this car having a range of something between 325 and 345 miles i can feed back to you that this car is really returning in a real world environment around 250 miles on a, on a single charge it's a 100 kilowatt battery so it's not really a great rate of return but it's super quick and really fun you know it's 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 just insane you know and the word ludicrous is exactly what this car is it's it's absolutely ludicrous so we're going to take it on for 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 a bit of a run and just get a feel for all of the 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 things that are on there and it, it's got everything you'd expect from a tesla you know it's got the great big screen it's got an amazing sat nav it uploads updates automatically which which tesla do amazingly well i've had my current car for for about 15 months now and i get regular updates as you pull onto the drive at home picks up the wi-fi and it updates the car you know it is it is they're very clever they're very smart and they work very hard to produce great it infrastructure the charging infrastructure that tesla have put on the ground is, a, is brilliant we're going to go to a charger and we'll show you how to put some charge into this however it is the quickest thing ever you know you'll you'll charge this car from from flat in, <laughs> in in less than an hour on supercharger but you'll put 200 miles in this car in, in 25 minutes you know it's physically the best thing on the ground for when you are traveling and you're doing um big, big enough miles so we're poofing along and as i said i think earlier on this is the first time i've been in, in an x with the, with the bulk doors and etc but one of the things that i i actually don't like and there's things i, I love and things i don't like is this is an amazing panoramic screen um it's just before the sun was shining and of course the sun's shining you, you i feel like i'm in somewhat of a, a greenhouse but you, you still have a, a challenge to be able to see of course they've supplied us with what looks like a a sun visor however it's 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 fairly meaningless because I'm, I'm i'm looking over the top of it um so i'm not sure what that's all about i've seen cars like this past not, not not tesla but other, other models with a very high pan and you have a sliding um slide if you like to come down I, it's just semantics for me and it's just my personal um, preferences but you know things like that when you're paying the kind of money that we've paid for this vehicle you, you expect it to perhaps think about those things and, and the tinting in this glass when you're looking at the winter sunshine um, being much lower on the horizon is, is, is not cutting it at all. So, um, but 
that being said, I love the car. The car is amazing um, and so quick. I just can't even quantify how quick this car is. It's the fastest car that I've ever been in, ever. You know, and we've driven a few cars over the years and this is really, really quick. Apparently, according to um, our CFO, it has a ludicrous plus element to this car, which God knows why anyone would ever want to use that, but um, we'll stay out of that today. This is fast enough for me. On the vehicle, but if we push this up here and we're gonna go into charging, unlock the charge point, charge point there we go and all we need to do is go and plug it in and have a coffee while we put some charge in I think that's what to that's what we'll go and do now um, and let's see how much charge we can pop into this in 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 say 15 20 minutes so we'll give you a feel for how quickly these superchargers do really work right so we open the charging point and just for a show the ease of interest the car is connected and we have a a credit card base built into it. Plug, go, we're done. So we're going to have a coffee and come back shortly. So, back after a coffee, a uh, good 20 minutes, and uh, we're back and see how much power we put in the car. Just show you how to disconnect it again, all these doors automatically open for those who are physically challenged with the weight of these basic doors. And basically, all we do is we're now into the vehicle. into charging, stop charging, and we put £11.66 in the vehicle, stop charging, unlock the port, and what we've done in the time we've been here is we've added 95 miles to, to, to this vehicle. Um, a bit slower because the car was already nearly full, so when, you, when you're charging from empty, you're, you're pushing um, electric into this vehicle at around about 450 miles an hour, um, and when we've come out to this we're putting in a much more sedate level because it's as the, the battery is empty it fires it in very quickly and as it becomes more full or more charged it slows down and starts to condition the battery so I think we were going to show some 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 features that I've I've, I've never seen before so I mean I, just, I can't not show you these before we look at some of the outside stuff but this is on the screen when um, you, you, you you stop the car and park it up but just give you a feel for this if I push that button then one of the gullwing doors just opens up um, if I push that button the door opens on its own as if by magic I mean how cool is that if we push this button then everything closes itself I mean wow how cool is that that is really special what we're gonna do now is have a, a look round outside so um, to f from the outside looking in, if you like, so seats and doors, etc., etc., which which will give you a feel for really just how well appointed this this car is. So <clears throat> we're back after our, our ride, and and, uh, and it would be it'd be remiss of me not to at least run through some of these crazy doors. And I, I'm never I just get to get tired of playing with the uh, with the doors on this particular vehicle. As I said before, you know, um, on this they're automatic and. and Wow, I mean, uh, what's not to love? You've seen some YouTube videos with people driving down the road with these doors up. Well, I'm not sure that's actually possible, but let's look at this as a, as a, as a concept. You know, really well appointed. It's a proper seven seater. There's loads of room in there for kids in the back and, and all those other good things. And, and, and you know, from, from a, a quality car, this, this is right up there with the, with the quality cars. And as I said before, the finish on this is the best I've seen from from Tesla, and, and we, we've we've got some we've got some miles in under the belt now. Really, really good, well finished car. Really like it. Everything's electronic. Massive boot space if we if we don't have the seats up. So again, it's a a lovely finish. I guess today that's probably a bit for me. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. Uh, our trip into the Tesla world. Again, it's very hard to talk about electric and, and, and all of the quality things that we can talk about in, in, in a very few minutes. Everything you see on, on Pro I Truck TV, everything we talk about is available uh, throughout the Truck Division. 
And but you know, let's be honest. If you wanted some advice or have a conversation about real world electric and how how we we get on with it, just contact us. You know, we're we're happy to talk about this this, this topic anytime, any any place. Just give us a shout. Please, if you can subscribe, it'd be amazing. And we'll see you again soon, guys. Take care. Thank you.